naming or going from the name to the formula for barium oxide. The first thing that I need to do is figure out what the symbol is for barium. So I will reference the periodic table. When I find barium, I see that barium symbol is BA. It is in column two. So barium is BA. It's in column two, which means it has two valence electrons. It is going to give those two valence electrons away. Giving a gift is a nice thing to do. So barium is going to have a positive two charge. Oxide is secretly oxygen. Oxygen symbol is O. Oxygen is in column six, which means it has six valence electrons. So it has six and once eight, it's going to steal two. Stealing is bad, so oxygen is going to have a negative two charge. Once I crisscross charges for subscripts, I am left with Ba2O2. And what I need to do now is see if that formula is the most simplified state. So the ratio two to two can be simplified to the ratio of one to one. So this will turn into BaO as my final answer. Finding the formula for lithium phosphide. First thing I need to do is I need to find the chemical symbol for lithium. So I'm going to reference my periodic table. Lithium is symbol Li, it is in column one which means that it is going to have one valence electron. It's going to give away that one valence electron and one, giving a gift is a nice thing to do, so it's going to have a positive one charge. Phosphide is secretly phosphorus. Phosphorus has the symbol P on the periodic table and is in column five. That means that it is going to have five valence electrons, so it has five, but it wants eight, so it is going to steal three. Stealing is bad, so we're going to have a charge of negative three. Then I will crisscross charges for subscripts. I do not write the one since ones are implied. And I'm going to check to see if the ratio can be simplified. The ratio three to one is already in its most simple form, so that means I'm good and I can stop. What is the subscript for magnesium in the correct formula for magnesium chloride? First, I need to find the formula for magnesium chloride. I'm going to find the element symbol for magnesium. Magnesium is Mg, it is in column two. That means it has two valence electrons, so I can go ahead and say that it's going to give away those two valence electrons. Giving a gift is a nice thing to do, so it's going to have a charge of positive two. Chloride is secretly chlorine. Chlorine is element symbol Cl. It is in column seven, which means it's going to have seven valence electrons. It has seven, it wants eight. It's going to steal one. And since stealing is bad, it will have a charge of negative one. And then I will crisscross charges for subscripts and I will be left with MgCl2. I'll check my ratio to see if I can simplify it. The ratio of one to two cannot be simplified, so that means that this is my correct formula. And now I am finding what the subscript is for magnesium. There's an invisible subscript here. That invisible subscript is one. So my subscript for magnesium in the correct formula for magnesium chloride is one. What is the subscript for potassium in the correct formula for potassium phosphide? First, I need to find the correct formula for potassium phosphide. I'm going to do this first by finding the element symbol for potassium. Potassium is element symbol K. It is in the first column, which means that it is going to have one valence electron. It has one and it's going to give that one valence electron away. Giving a gift is a nice thing to do, so it's going to have a charge of positive one. Phosphide is secretly phosphorus. Phosphorus has the element symbol of P. Phosphorus is in column five, which means it has five valence electrons. So it has five, but it wants eight. So it's going to go ahead and steal three. Stealing is bad, so it's going to have a charge of negative three. When I crisscross charges for subscripts, I am left with K3 P blank, which is secretly a one. And I'm looking for the correct uh, subscript for potassium. So before I finalize my answer, I'm gonna see if I can simplify my ratio at all. My ratio is three to one. That cannot be simplified, so that means that my subscript for potassium is going to be three.
What is the subscript for oxygen and the correct formula for rubidium oxide? First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to find the formula for rubidium oxide. Rubidium is element symbol RB. It is in column one. So that means that it has one valence electron. It's going to give that one valence electron away. Giving a gift is a nice thing to do, so it's going to have a charge of positive one. Oxide is secretly oxygen, and oxygen has the element symbol O, and it is in column six, which means that it has six valence electrons, so it has six, but it wants eight, so it's going to steal two to get to eight. Stealing is bad, so it will have the charge of negative two. When I crisscross charges for subscripts, I am left with RB2O. And then I'm going to check to see if I can simplify that ratio at all. The ratio two to one cannot be simplified, so that means that my subscript for oxygen is going to be that invisible subscript. Any invisible subscripts are implied ones. What is the subscript for the anion in the correct formula for barium bromide? So first I need to find the formula for barium bromide. First up we have barium. Barium is element symbol BA. It's in column two, which means that it has two valence electrons. It's going to give those two valence electrons away. Giving a gift is a nice thing to do, so my charge will be positive two. Bromide is secretly bromine. Bromine is in column seven, and it has a symbol of BR. Being in column seven, that means it has seven valence electrons. Having seven but wanting eight means that it is going to steal one valence electron. Stealing is bad, and so we're going to give it a charge of negative one. Then I will crisscross charges for subscripts. And I am looking for the subscript for my anion. My anion is going to be my negative ion. My negative ion was that of bromine, so I'm looking for the subscript from bromine, so that means that my subscript for, for my anion is two. What is the subscript for the cation in the correct formula for rubidium sulfide? First, I need to find the correct formula for rubidium sulfide. Rubidium has the element symbol RB, and it is in column one. Having one valence electron, since it's in column one. It's going to give that one valence electron away, so it will have a charge of positive one. Sulfide is secretly sulfur. Sulfur is in column six, which means that it is going to have six valence electrons, and its element symbol is S. Having six valence electrons means it has six, but it wants eight, so it's going to steal two to get to that octet. Stealing is bad, so we are going to have a charge of negative two. And then I'm going to crisscross charges for subscripts. And I am left with RB2S. I'm going to check to make sure that I don't need to simplify my formula before moving forward. The ratio two to one cannot be simplified. So that means that I am already in the correct uh, ratio and formula, which means all I need to do is figure out what the subscript for my cation is. Cation, cats have paws. Cations are positive. My cation is going to be my positively charged ion. Rubidium had that positive charge, so that means I'm looking for rubidium subscript. Rubidium subscript is two, so the subscript for my cation in rubidium sulfide is two.